It's just another standard day at Telethon, really. I'm just kicking back on a giant inflatable twister board. <laughs> so, things are getting crazy here for In It To Win It. Uh, thank you to all the tweeters out there who are tweeting suggestions for In It To Win It games. Well, my favourite was to get uh, Justice Crew to do a handstand competition. That was good. Uh, Paul Hogan from 92.9 has been tweeting through lots of crazy ideas, most of which we can't broadcast. And uh, you know what? Someone said, what about an inflatable giant twister board? And we went, OK, let's just go and whip one up. We've got a pretty amazing props department back there. Now, if you've missed the last couple of In It To Win It's, this is huge because we're now playing for the jackpot amount of $150,000. Yeah, this is awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to have five different players for this game and it's going to be last person standing on the giant twister board. The first two contestants, give a big round of applause for Sarah Grace and John Deeks. Here she comes. You're looking pumped, Sarah. Deeks, he's here. Uh, have you got shoes off? That's the first rule. Shoes are off. You guys can get ready. And I reckon we'll get two more uh, contestants off our panel. We've got Jack Pearson, we've got Demi Harmon. Come on over, folks. Now, Dixie, at your age, don't wear yourself out just yet. You might want to preserve your energy. Here we go. And we've got, yeah, shoes off, Jack, good idea. Now, we want a fifth player, and we have got something very special for you now. We have come up on very short notice with a surprise international guest. No, it's not Elton John getting into the twister pit. It's someone who's come a lot further, all the way from the nation of Kazakhstan. Please welcome Borat. <laughs> Is that what they do in Kazakhstan? Uh, now, Borat, are you suitably dressed for this? I don't know. Uh, are yes. you going to be OK in a suit? Uh, normally, I do twister with no clothes on. Uh, sometimes I hear... <laughs> Who wants to see Borat in the mankini? <laughs> no, I will not do that. Uh, OK, Borat, you can jump on in. OK. Oh, I think we've popped it. No, it's not a trampoline, Borat. OK, now let's try and get a, a slight amount of control. Everyone stand still for a moment. <laughs> Dixie's down already. This is going to be great. OK, I'm going to start giving you the instructions. Everyone standing up, in positions, and there's no spinning wheel. This is going to be a simple case of me reading out where they have to go. The first instruction is left arm red. It's the last person standing, folks. Left arm red. Um, Dixie's down already, but uh, this is very hard to maintain your footing. OK, let's split up. Let's see if we can uh, try and keep you standing for a little bit longer. OK, let's go with the second one. Right leg yellow. Right leg yellow. There we go. <laughs> Dixie, you're hopeless. <laughs> and Borat's not much better. Jack's barely standing up. The next one. Go left leg red. Yeah, this will be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're all doing very well. Well, Jack's got it. Yes, well done. Right arm on blue. Right arm blue. Oh, this is going to be very hard. Dixie, you're out. Get out. One down. You're on, your, you're on all fours, face down. You're out. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Jack and Sarah are getting... Oh, hello. Look what we've got. <laughs> oh, I got rid of Sarah. <laughs> we've, got, we've got water pistols. <laughs> oh, they're off. They're out. Jack's the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Connor, <laughs> Connor, <you can't laughs> Connor, that's enough with the water pistols. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Sophie's still going as well. Ladies and gentlemen, you can go home and say you were here at the moment the telethon descended into complete chaos. <laughs> I have to now declare a winner. Now, get off the tram. It's not a trampoline. Get off. <laughs> get off. Now... 
Oh, dear. Now, I'm going to declare a winner because the girls all went piking out the minute the water came out and they ran off squealing. I think the last person standing was Jack Pearson. <laughs> You're all a little bit wet, but... Uh... Well done. How did you stay upright at all then? Just skill, determination, will to live. I just <laughs> gave it everything. <laughs> you couldn't see. You had your back and all of a sudden the telephone kids have come out with the water pistols. You couldn't even see it coming. I didn't know if I was just sweating a lot or... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's keep this moving along because, Jack, I hope, do you realise you have got a lot on your shoulders now? Oh, no. Now, just think about this for a moment. You're playing for $150,000 for Telethon. It's amazing. OK, look, you go and get ready. Jump in that uh, machine. We've got Travis over here from Crown. Come on over. Hello. This is huge. Now, you know it's been jackpotting, so Crown, thank you again for providing this much money. What are you doing? You're going to put three different notes in there. Yeah, I've got a uh, 350000 so we're going to give $150,000, so hopefully the guys can do it. Absolutely. OK, Jack's getting ready. Let's hand over the three notes. We'll wander over here to the machine. Jack's getting in our cash machine. You guys can all gather around and give him a nice big cheer. We need lots of support for this. Let's see if he can get all three notes. Here we go. And the cash machine is away. Keep the cheering going. He really needs your help. We've got 20 seconds on the clock. We're down to 12 seconds. We're down to 10 seconds, Jack. Grab what you can. See if you can find those blue notes. Time's up. OK, what's he got? What's he got? I can see one in your hand. Jump out with your notes. There's one. There's two. Is there another one in there? And there's one on the floor. He got $100,000, folks. That's a fantastic effort. Well done, Jack. Well done. It's not every day you come over here and you get to say that I just quickly, in 30 seconds, raised $100,000 for Telethon. That's amazing. Thank you, Crown. Thank you, guys. Now, I don't know what's happening now. The rules have gone out the window. I guess that means we're still 50 grand behind the target. So I'm going to put pressure on Crown to see if we can do a 100,000 game with the next one. What do you reckon? It's going to be the Perfect. Borat's taking him away. The twister board's been deflated. Everyone's wet. We'll see you next time.